Good day! It's TLA time again. So, I hope you learned something new for our topic today. So, yesterday, I have discussed about the different competencies in the technology and livelihood education. So, we have, so under the home economics, we have beauty care. And under the beauty care, we have the nail care service. And what is the nail care service? So, nail care service is the study on how we can maintain the cleanliness of our toenails and fingernails. Now, nail care tools and equipment. So today, we will discuss about the nail care tools and equipment. Nail care tools, materials, and equipment are a variety of implements that are used in taking care of the nails. So most of the tools and supplies are available in the health section of the department store and also in beauty salon, while the equipment can be found in appliance store. So equipment. So how are we going to identify the tools, materials, and also the equipment? So first, let us discuss what is the tool. Okay, tools are the article used in any care service which are durable, permanent, and are handheld. Like you get, let me give you an example. First, we have the nail cutter. You can easily hold the nail cutter, the nail clipper, or the nail trimmer to trim your nails. And also, the cuticle nail pusher. You can also hold that like a pencil and then just loosen back to remove the dead cuticles. Okay, this two or these are the common tools that we are using in maintaining our fingernails and toenails. So these are durable, permanent, and are handheld. So how are we going to maintain its good condition? So we have different uh, cleaning method to maintain its good condition. We have sterilization, we have sanitization, and we have many more methods to maintain its, it, its good condition. These are also called as implements. So tools are also called as implements. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, we have cuticle nipper. You can easily hold the cuticle nipper to cut your cuticles. Also, we have the nail file. Just hold it and then uh, shape the free edges of your nails. Next is the manicure nail brush. You can easily hold also that using your two fingers, which is the pinky finger and this ring finger. So you just hold the uh, manicure brush to brush downward your fingernails. Are the different examples of nail care tools that we are using to maintain our toenails and fingernails. Next is the materials. Okay, materials are the cosmetics and supplies that are consumed and should be replaced from time to time. So these are the cosmetics that should be replaced from time to time. Unlike the tools, tools are permanent and durable. This is also handheld, but it should be replaced from time to time. It is also called as consumables. Let me give you an example. Okay, the antiseptic solution or the beta type and the top coat. These are the cosmetics or materials that we are using in the nail care service. So these two are classified as materials because it should consume from time to time and it's not permanent. Let me give you an example. Okay, the benzoyl conium chloride, or also called as myrtillate, but this benzoyl conium chloride, you know, class, that is it is an antiseptic solution. So that means that it should apply for the open wound. But today, that benzoyl conium chloride is used as a design to add more color to your fingernails. But the, the uses of that benzoyl conium chloride is for antiseptic solution. Okay, next is the nail polish. So nail polish or the assorted colored nail polish are classified as 
materials. Next, we have cotton. Okay, this cotton is also a material. Why? Let me give you an example, a situation. If you're using the cotton ball for your first customer, you cannot use that again on your second customer. That's why you should replace it from time to time. Next, we have the emery board. The emery board is also a material. It looks like a popsicle stick. It looks like a sandpaper. It has two sides, which is the fine side and the poor side. So after uh, shaping the free edge of your nails, you cannot use that in lifetime or that is not permanent. Next is equipment. What is equipment? Equipment are the items which are more or less durable and permanent. Like tools, tools are permanent and durable, but equipment is more or less durable or permanent. Let me give you an example. This manicure table and also foot spa machine. So these are examples of equipment. So machines, chairs, tables, those are the equipments that we are using in the nail care service. Next, give you an example again, the sterilizer is also a machine. Sterilizer used to sterilize the metal implement. Next one is the hand spa machine. So hand spa machine is also an equipment. An equipment. So next is the manicure chair, it's also an equipment. They are more or less durable and permanent. So that is the examples of equipment. Okay, now let's differentiate the tools, materials, and equipment. Okay, first materials. Materials are consumable, should be placed from time to time, and these are also called cosmetic. Next, we have tools. Tools are handheld, durable, and also permanent. Last one, we have the equipment. More or less durable and like tools, this is also permanent. So that is the differences of the tools, materials, and equipment. Okay, let's try this one. Towel. Towel is an example of, like, if your answer is material, then you are correct. So material should be replaced from time to time. So after using that on the first customer, you can use that on your second customer. Okay, next is the wet sanitizer. Okay, this sanitizer is a, okay, this is also a material because Wet sanitizer is not permanent, it has expiration date. Okay, next is the foot file. This is a tool. It is durable and permanent and also it is handheld. Next one, the last one which we have, the dryer. Again, okay, this dryer, if your answer is equipment, then probably you are correct. So this equipment is more or less durable and Permanent. So these are the examples of the tools, materials, and equipment. So I hope you learned something today. And I think that's the end of the needle care tools, materials, and equipment discussion for today. Don't forget to answer the quiz that I have posted on the Google Classroom under the grade 7, which is the PLA subject. I hope you learned something again today. And I will give you uh, procedures on how you will answer my quiz today. So please watch the video.
something for today, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell button to be updated on my next video. Goodbye!